Hey guys, welcome to ProTech. I'm Steven. Today we're going to talk about our line of accessory holsters. I usually have rolled these into our standard models, but we're getting more and more orders for guns with weapon lights or optics, and it takes quite a bit more time to accommodate those. And we don't just do cutouts like for the optics, for example. We actually mold our Kybrid models uh, to where Kydex is fully covering that optic. Because let's face it, you've got a lot of money wrapped up into that thing. Uh, like this one, for example, is for a Glock 19 Gen 5 with a Leopold Delta Point Pro red dot on it. And to just cut an opening in the Kydex to allow that thing to, to be out there and be exposed, especially when you're sitting against it and leaning against it, or if you take a spill and a hard impact with all your body weight on it, you need something protecting that thing, protecting your asset. So we go ahead and, and do that. So this one you can see fully covers, fully covers where the optic goes on the rig. So we just modify the mold to accommodate that. And I'll give it a little bit of extra space around it, if you can tell, just to provide a little bit of, of, of a barrier there. And uh, you can still carry, carry the holster with a gun minus the optic in it. See, it's still a very solid, very solid interface. You've got adjustable retention right there, just like usual. Kydex 100. Thicker on the outside, thinner on the inside. Premium horse hide backer. This is actually a small of the back rig for a retired detective, as a matter of fact. And his eyes are fading. A lot of guys, uh, when you get older, um, eyes start to fade and it's difficult. It's difficult to see the sights and the target. Uh, one or both are blurry. And with a red dot on there, if you go ahead and put a red dot on your gun, that kind of gives you the ability to focus on just the target and still see a nice crisp dot on it. So that's kind of the advantage for a red dot, especially for the older community. Young guys like me who have good eyesight still, we can go either way. But uh, this being a small of the back rig, now he's got full coverage on both sides of the gun and both sides of the optic. Because let's face it, that optic is arguably as much as the gun is. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on and demo it for you. Take my personal rig off. I carry our micro with a SIG P365 and you can see it's nicely molded to my body. <clears throat> and again, this is our small of the back or SOB model. Catchy, I know. What's nice about small in the back, especially for people who have curvature, aka a butt. I don't have a butt, but for people who do have a butt, it's nice because you got that pocket from your back to your butt. That pocket in there, you can you can hide a lot of gun. So for guys who are carrying uh, stuff with accessories on it, uh, compact or larger uh, frame guns like the uh, like the Glock 19 is considered to be. A compact frame gun. The small of the back, the small of the back is just a nice place to hide all of that, especially if you've got a, an optic or a weapon light on it. So here it is uh, in the small of my back. You can see the rig there, and it shouldn't be printing much. If I bend forward, you'll see a print, uh, but if you bend forward with any uh, hip carried rig, you're going to see somewhat of a print. Um, mine, my waist is a little bit higher than, than some others, so it's going to vary. But let's let's check the draw. There we go. Draw is nice and smooth. We'll do it to the front. Okay. I'll switch to a. non-optic mounted gun. So that's just a regular Glock with no optic. 
much the same. And then to take it off, disengage the clips, pull it off. Of course, it's adjustable. This, this rig is just like every other rig we make. Uh, it's got all the normal features of a Kybrid. It's just accessorized for uh, optics and other stuff. So uh, you'll notice the price will be a little bit different because it does take more time to do this, but uh, the quality and everything else will still be the same. Stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you next time.